this is a thermos flask and you can see that this thermos flask is in the shape of a cylinder you can see it has a curved surface and two circular ends or two circular bases now i want to give this flask to my mother for that i need to cover it up so that it can look it as a gift so for covering it up what do i need to know what i'll do i'll cover its surface so for that i need to know the surface area of this cylinder so let's see how i have packed it up so what did i do first i have covered its curved surface and then i have covered its circular bases separately so what i have done actually to cover this thermos flask first i have covered its curved surface with a sheet that i have opened it for you here and i have covered its circular bases with these two circles of papers now what is the actual surface area of this cylinder can you we take it out from this let's see let us first take the area of this sheet now what is the length of this sheet now we know that this sheet was actually folded around the cylinder so it had a circular base first so the length of this sheet is actually the circumference of the circular base this circumference we have opened this sheet that is why we know that this circumference is actually what circumference of a circle that is 2 pi r now what now can you tell me what is the curved surface area of this cylinder what do you mean by curved surface area curved surface area means the part that is covering this curved surface so we have opened this sheet for you and you know that this base is actually 2 pi r now we have named the height as h now for taking out an area of any shape what do we do length into breadth so here 2 pi r will act as a length and h may act as the breadth or vice versa so the curved surface area of the cylinder will be what 2 pi r into this h so we found out how can we find out the curved surface area of a cylinder it is actually 2 pi r h so for covering the cylinder its curved surface area will be calculated by the formula 2 pi r h where r is the radius of the circular base and h is the height of the given cylinder now we know that curved surface area is 2 pi r h so now let us take out the curved surface area of this cylinder we have been given that the radius is 7 cm and the height is 14 cm so let us calculate this 2 into the let us take the value of pi as 22 by 7 into r that is 7 cm into h that is 14 cm this will give us 616 cm square just like the surface area of other cubes cuboids and other figures we will use the unit as square centimeter over here now you know that for covering the cylinder we needed this sheet as well as these two circular bases to cover the circular bases of these two parts so we need to take out the area of this also if you want to take out the total surface area so what is the area of these circular regions you can see that two why two because there are two circular bases and area of any one circular base is what pi r square that is the area of a circle with radius r so it actually gives us 2 into area of circle with radius with any radius say r is actually pi r square where r is the radius so this will give us what 2 into pi r square so we derive the formula for these two circular regions now one circular region has the area of pi r square so two circular regions will have 2 pi r square now you can see that the value of r is 7 cm so you can calculate the curved surface area of these two circular regions do it Now we know that the area of these two circular regions is 2 pi r 
square. So let us put this r in this formula. So we'll get 2 into pi is 22 by 7 into r square, that is 7 into 7. This will give us 308 centimeter square. So we found out the length of the sheet in the previous example and now in this we found out the area of these two circular regions. So what is the actual total surface area we have calculated? First is the area of this sheet and then is the area of these two circular regions. So what is total surface area in this case? Well total surface area is curved surface area that is this part and area of the two circles that is this part. So we have already calculated these two separately before. We know that the curved surface area that we have calculated is 616 centimeters square and the area of the two circles is 308 centimeters square. Now total surface area is what? Curved surface area plus area of two circles so that we can get the total surface area of that cylinder. So let's add it. Let's add curved surface area. That is 616 plus area of the two circles. That is 308. What will we get? 924 centimeter square. So this is actually the total surface area of our cylinder. So what did we learn? We learned that the total surface area of a cylinder is actually its curved surface area plus the area of two circles. That is what? 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. And when we take common 2 pi r, 2 pi r from here, we get h plus r. So this is the formula for total surface area of a cylinder. That is 2 pi r brackets h plus r.